Hello. Thank you for joining us on Vacation Station TV, your virtual getaway. I know that drives you crazy. How are you? How you doing? How you doing? I'm uh, trying to get out in traffic. How's your day going? You trying to get out in traffic? There's a lot of buttheads out here. My wig shifted. Mm. It is Wednesday, Mountain of Midweek, oozing from your pores live cast. And there's, there's a buttload of traffic. A buttload of traffic. I'm in Pigeon Forge. Flip it around so you can see what's going on. There, 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 yeah, there you go. Pigeon Forge. There's the cars. There. Lots of traffic. It just finished raining, by the way. It um, came down. It wasn't really too hard. Riley, how are you? Hey, Jeff, how you been? I've been fine. I've been very good, very, very good. Running around all day today. Got a lot done. Some nice cars here. Nice cars. I'm just going to drive up and down and entertain you. John Esper, good afternoon. Very stormy, Columbus, Ohio. We have another tornado. Watch out here again and hope Miss Marie is feeling better. Yes, she's got her voice back finally. That was about, what do you say, John, three days, four days? She had no voice. <laughs> My goodness, such silence, such quiet. <laughs> she squeaked a lot. That was about it. She squeaked. Hmm. And I just picked up, I had to get gas. And I said, well, while in Rome, get coffee. And that's what I did. <laughs> I got my coffee. There. I got the windows down so you can kind of hear the ambiance. Do you have any videos on Townsend? Yeah, they're not produced yet. Uh, I did shoot um, two and a half, but I'm going to call it two because I'll probably incorporate that half into the two, and uh, I'll be putting them up shortly. Um, I was up that way. I had to go up into Where's Valley. I had to go to two clients. Um, it was yesterday, the day before, I forget. But uh, that was for private stuff. I was shooting commercials for them. Not for YouTube. And I said, well, I'm out here. I might as well get some video of Townsend. Hasn't changed much. If you need to know. I hear Townsend is on the road. Uh, there's some activity, but very little. They're preventing it from uh, overgrowing, which I think is a smart thing. Uh, same thing with, like, Where's Valley. I'm not... And, and I don't think Where's Valley, its time is for years. It, it'll be years down the road. Guess jump 375 you know i just got gas I, I don't pay attention to the gas time i just know if it's there i, I get gas <laughs> except for in gatlinburg i am not paying them almost four dollars a gallon rodney buchanan man i haven't seen your name there's a beautiful car over there hello mr jeff haven't been on here i know i know i know uh yes i'm doing fine both of us are doing very very well there's some really nice cars that came into town overnight i did not see them yet so what you and I are seeing right now is what's going on. Uh, they're going to run out of room to build a Gatlinburg. Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that isn't going to stop them. Now, the only thing that I don't like in Wares Valley is the building of cabins. That, it's destroying the beauty of what Wares Valley is all about. Look at that T-Bird. Kind of a peach color or, I don't know, what would you call that? I guess kind of a peach. I'm not sure. But um, 4,500 cabins were built last year. I don't know what this year. Uh, too many. Too many. They need to put a moratorium on that. But you know, the problem is the powers that be are the powers that have the money that build the cabin. So that that's typical small town. That Lincoln, isn't that beautiful? That convertible Lincoln? God, that's great. 
you saw Cadillac, it's on the other side of the road. A thir I'm sorry, it's a Buick, 38 Buick. Not bad. Buick is nice. I'm looking for the Cadillac, though. Look at those cars. Damn, aren't they beautiful? I did get Gatlinburg Monday morning. I parked the city garage. Ten bucks and walked. There you go. Ten bucks. All day long. Smart move, Mr. John. Smart move. Anywhere else you would have dumped $20. Guaranteed $20. Guy's wiping down his car. It's supposed to stop. Look at that powder blue Cadillac. And that pink car. It's a Chevrolet. It's the 38. Uh, at least it looks like it could be parted out. There could be many parts. I'm just going by the grill. This looks like a Plymouth. This little red colored weird looking thing. A lot of cars. Lots and lots of cars. Should be fun. Now weather. Tomorrow's supposed to be fairly nice. But Saturday they're calling for rain but you know, that changes. You know the mountains. You know the mountains. The yellow ones. Oh. Chevy. A yellow Chevy. I don't know why it's looking like that. Enjoy meeting up. Oh, that was Buddy. Buddy, yes. I wanted to start my show with that. I forgot about it. Uh, Buddy Wilkerson came by and saw me last night, and Miss Marie came up to the Pigeon Forge Traders. Uh, let's say hello to Buddy Wilkerson and his beautiful wife, who's not feeling well. And that's Rosemary. So, Rosemary, if you're, you're listening or you're watching, you get better soon, girl. Okay? Do everything the doctors tell you. And, um, and listen to your husband, because if you have any sense at all, you know that everything he knows is right. There you go. Thank you, buddy. It was fun meeting you, too, again. Again. And seeing you in a while. See, the smart people have their ponchos on. Those, those right there that you see, those blue ones, you can pick them up for a couple of bucks in just about any store in Pigeon Forge and Gatlinburg. They're, they're pocket size. They're, you just put them in your pocket, put them in your purse. And when it does this type of stuff rains, you can see it's clearing up over the mountains. Wish this camera would do what it's buddy. Uh, oh, very good. Rosemary, you get better. You get better. And keep watching. Appreciate that. Little golf cart. It's chill. It's 70 degrees, but it's a damp 70 degrees. It shouldn't stay that way long. You can see where it cleared. It's a front coming through. It's supposed to cool down just a little bit. Debbie, I see someone showing back road shortcuts videos but didn't show the whole route. Yeah, there's there's a couple people out there. You know, there's always the piggyback riders. You know, they watch, they see that I'm getting some views and then they do the same thing. Uh, all the power to them. I don't own the network. Look at this rat rod. Uh, not even covered up. <laughs> Just the uh, the scoop. It's a 20. Look at that one. How do you get into that one? I keep going by that one. How could I couldn't fit my fat butt in there? Right there. I guarantee everything autos will be busy. <laughs> yes, towing cars is legal. Yeah, yeah. Although, here... It's not like Gatlinburg, where it's clear if you're not paying for parking, you're parking illegally. Here, see, you see where they are parked. That's city. That's all city. Now, at the buildings, the stores, that's different. That's county and private. That's why you don't see a lot of cars parked up by the stores. They're not allowed to. Now, if they have permission, if they, there's going to be a lot of that going on next couple of days. You know, a lot of these stores that aren't doing so well. I mean, you see these stores here, there's one car out front. There's more hot rods out front than actual patrons. 
if they need to you know pay some of their bills the smartest thing for them to do is rent out their spot you know say all right you know i'm not making any money now there's nobody here i'll give it to you for 100 bucks for the weekend at least maybe you can put some money on your electric bill just saying Just saying. Right, I watch everything on autos and I feel bad for them now. People talk. Yeah, I noticed that. They're giving them grief. And that comes with. Uh, who's that? Larry. I, I, Leslie, how are you? No, it's Larry himself. The Larry. The Larry. So when you come down, you're going to try out my bidet, right? You got the upper floor and the lower floor. Um, that comes with when you become popular. You got the trolls and you got the people that stir up problems. I don't have that problem because I'm not popular, so I don't have to worry about that. I got this close knit of friends, you guys. The Larry, I should say, the official, the one and only Larry. <laughs> A lot of car. <clears throat> a few old ones. It's mostly hot rod. I'm not a big hot rod person um, because a lot of these cars I remember in high school, everyone was driving them, so it was no big deal to me. I always drove the 30s cars in high school, and that's the style I like is the 30s. They're fun to look at. I'm going to Taco Bell and then come on and try the bidet. Okay. <laughs> Eat a half a dozen big beefy burritos. Yep, you'll need that thing. Oh, you will. But you'll like it. I think you'll like it. I love my bidet. Absolutely. Look at this pickup truck. That's nice. That's the guy Yitz was afraid of. He thought he was going to come and stab him to death. He's just different. He dances and he's different. He doesn't do anything wrong. Look at that tow truck. Look at that. That's here every year. Chevy. I don't know. It's like a CZ or something. I don't know my car, so forgive me. Especially that these years. Because in the 30s, I'm a little better first. Oh, I didn't put my microphone. I'm sorry. I just looked at that and I just, here, you dumb bail, you didn't put, there's a the microphone. Sorry about that. There, that's a Ford. That's a 39 with the lights in the fenders. I cleared up the picture a little bit. Yeah. I wonder why. I do not know. There's a big buffalo up there. Would you like to have that on your front yard? Big old buffalo. I hope you enjoy this when I impromptu just go live. I just dropped Miss Marie off. That's a Chevy. Good looking, too. I just enjoyed. I enjoy driving and watching these, and usually I come out and I'll take some video. If I don't like it, I delete it, but at night it looks kind of cool because there's the lights, all the pretty, pretty lights. Flip it around here. Riley, is traffic? I mean, define bad. Rick, um, during any event, it's going to be bad. It doesn't matter. You just got to deal with it, you know? Jeff, will they be gone by Monday? Yes, 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 yes. Most of them will be gone by Monday. So not to worry. If you're thinking about coming up, uh, they come back again in September, you know, for the fall rod run. The fall one is, is usually pretty good, but it's pretty stacked. Uh, Riley said, does YouTube go and mention the name, but they are asking people for money again. Um, is it the Orca Twins? 
you're talking about? The Orca Twins? You use those little secret words and, and we know what it is. <laughs> the Orca Twins. Uh, I wouldn't doubt it. They've, they've lost a lot of uh, viewership. I mean, they're down. Look at this. Rat Rod? Look at that. Damn, that's big. It's for sale. Sally and Yelly out in the windows because she needs her Starbucks. Oh, 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 okay. Yeah, now I know. Okay. Yeah, they've lost. I get more. <laughs> I get more people watching than they do, which is really sad. It's like, damn, I don't get that many. Something happened. There's several YouTubers out there that have shot themselves in the foot. They've just done themselves in. Uh, Rick. Rick Lightfoot, run known and came up there during Ball Rod Run. It was neat, but too much traffic. If you take the back roads, you won't have to deal with this. And you can go to the right, you can go that way, or you can go that way and avoid all the traffic. There's roads that are running parallel, and you just avoid all those. But I like looking at it, and I think you guys do too. I was going to watch uh, their Bypass Grand opening video, but they believe it. I wonder why. I, why was there something on there that wasn't supposed to be seen? There's Pigeon Forge Traders right there in your screen. Right there, right across from IHOP and Golden Corral. Make sure you stop in and see Miss Marie say howdy. Say, say hello to Curtis. Curtis was up at the cabin this morning. And uh, good people, good people. It's all part of the conglomerate here. <laughs> we really like watching. Thank you. Debbie, Riley, who's that? See, now Debbie wants to know. Well, go ahead and tell her. I don't care. I don't care. It's not, I'm not saying anything really. If it's a fact and it's the truth, it's the truth. It ain't going to hurt. And I'm not I'm not going to have a problem with it. Some Chevys up here. Ford Galaxy next to it. And another Ford Galaxy. Nice representation of different years right there. That's unusual that they're together. The hi, hey Leslie, how are you? I was wondering where you are. Larry was in here. John S. I met Curtis at the new store Sunday. Yeah, he's a really nice guy. He's born and raised here. Yankees has uh, deleted their grand opening of the before I could watch it. I wonder what went on there. I mean, you can't eat food on there. There's no food can't stuff your face unless you're bringing along, you know, a half a side of beef or something. I don't know. A lot of the YouTubers have lost their way. Um, they perceive themselves as superstars. And they need to be grounded once in a while. You're not a superstar. You're just a person with a, a smartphone. Good to see you always. When are you guys coming down? Didn't Larry say you're coming down in May? Are you coming down in May? But that's the problem. They they get people who watch them and all of a sudden they're ready for the red carpet and the gold star on the walkway of life. And it, that's not what it is. You're just you're just a person with a phone and you're pretending to be a star. They have gained a lot of Yeah, oh yeah, definitely. Well, you know. Diabetes, look at that car. Diabetes is just a, a stone throw away. We'll be done 18 days, May 5th. Very good. I'll be looking forward to seeing you guys. Isky can. Delicious. That looks fast. <laughs> that looks really fast. <laughs> I can't wait for them to come down and... Uh, race down well not race no that's illegal we don't want to do anything illegal but go on the road i'll be uh, weather permitting i'll be broadcasting live in two places not at the same time of course but that's my goal and it's all up to weather now friday it looks good for one place and then saturday if it's raining no i'm not going out in the rain 
they stuff their piles of food and do the run off the tape. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't understand that. I don't. Well, I explained it, and I got some grief from a couple of viewers that say you really shouldn't downplay it. Look, I'm just see. I'm calling it the way I see it, ma'am. Whoever I can't remember her name. I call it the way I see it. The whole idea of doing these type of vlogs is to entertain and to show people things that are interesting. I don't want to see your herpes infested face sharing food with a fork and a knife, stuffing food down your face and telling me it's the best you've ever had. Because it's maybe it's the best you've ever had, not the best I've ever had. You know? And it just it's just a load of crap to get clicks and make money. Look at that rap. Damn, I thought that thing makes a lot of noise. Is it an SS? The only thing you wait is explain Thank you, Leslie. It's descriptive and cartoonish in a lot of ways. I appreciate you doing this. Said many throwing poor me videos up. No, I don't do that. I don't. And now that's what it is. It's, it's, oh, woe is me. I need more money. We, you know, one breath they say they're not doing good. The next breath they're saying they just booked another cruise. What a pile of shit. Excuse my language. You know what I'm saying? What? you got to think we're stupid. But it shows in the end, you know? The sad part is, that's how they make their living. So what's going to happen when the numbers drop off altogether? you got to go get a job. And I often wonder, I don't know if you guys wonder, but it's starting to rain again. Allegedly, gotta be careful, I don't want to get in a lawsuit. Allegedly, these two and others, there are others who we named unnamed at the moment, are collecting government checks. They're they're on disability. Now on disability, <clears throat> uh, the funny part is how many people they have hoodwinked into believing yeah, I know, and I feel bad for those people, because they're the ones that send the money. And they're usually they're older people that just think they're cute and adorable. I don't think it's cute and adorable. I think it's gluttony, and gluttony is one of the seven deadly sins. And for the people who think they're so Christ-like and religious, they're the first ones who go against three or four of the seven deadly sins. But as I was saying, I digress. If you're collecting disability, you can't make any more, and I don't think the laws have changed, in $2,500 a month extra on from disability these people are making definitely more than that and and i wonder if anybody's ever turned them in yet you know because i'm sure the irs would love to go through their books it's one thing i don't have to worry about one i'm not on disability and two i'm definitely not making an extra twenty five hundred dollars the monies i make are are done legitimately really nice cars some are still covered oh the life of the underprivileged yes smart people see they got their ponchos on you can pick those up at goats on the roof pigeon forge traders and the goat coaster that old station wagon. My God. that I remember those being on the road when I was in school. That was a normal grocery getter. Pretty dog. I saw the Frog King. Yeah, yeah. Tom is, he's kind of like me. You know, we're all, we say what's on our minds. And I don't have any problem with that. You've got to call people to the carpet, especially, I feel bad for the people that are being taken advantage of. They lived in 70s for, yes, yes, an old mail truck, Jeep mail truck. <laughs> I used to try, when I first started the band, I drove around in a UPS, an old UPS truck, it was like a 74, 75, 
with the sliding doors and stuff. And that's how I loaded my equipment. All my equipment went in that truck alone by itself. There's a rat rod. There's that Buick right there. Oh, that is gorgeous. Oh, oh. Still haven't seen a Cadillac or a LaSalle. Those guys go usually to the shows, the Hemming shows uh, in Bennington, Vermont, Carlisle, Pennsylvania. I used to haunt those every year. I'd never miss a car show. And usually I'd buy one or two. Yes, people should be able to have opinions, even if people, yes. And I get grief for that. Debbie, I get grief. And the lady calls me out and it's like, you know, if you look at it from my perspective, you see them telling the truth. I don't sugarcoat anything. I, if, if I don't, if I don't feel it's fair and it's taking advantage of people, then I have an issue with that. If you're stupid and you're just, you know, saying things off the top of your head, go right ahead and enjoy life. <clears throat> I don't have to agree with you, but when, when you're begging for money, then then I'm going, okay, that's basically panhandling. I was called these good fast stop. Um, bourbon something. Bourbon something. It's very good. It's from the BP station. That's very tasty. There's the uh, Margaritaville. The island is right to, the, to my right. Everything's very conveniently located and you can see traffic is is a little thick but like I said if you want to avoid it make a left and that'll take you on Arena Street and Florence Street and La Follette uh, Riley says I like it about you Jeff. you're real and uh, help with a lot of knowledgeable area the next vacation thank you that's my goal and let me tell you we're talking with Buddy Wilkerson yesterday his, his um, mom, which passed away, I believe, two years ago, God rest her soul, uh, lived vicariously through Vacation Station TV. She could not leave the home, and I guess she was in, in pretty bad shape. But what brought a smile to her face was when Miss Marie and I would go on the foothills and we'd drive around and we'd show the mountains to you. That's what I do. And that's the only reason I do what I do is because I know there are a lot of people out there that, oh, that's a long one. I'll get to that in a second. There's a lot of people out there that are homebound or sickly or they just can't get off of work for whatever reason. You know, maybe they got kids and it's too expensive to come. I understand all of that. And I'm happy bringing that to you. No, I'm not going to do gas station food. L listen to me. Listen, listen to me today, hear me tomorrow. Gas station food is gas station food. I don't care where it is. It's gas station food. It's like you don't get sushi from a gas station. Any person knows better than to do that. But yet, people, I see people buy all the time. You go, yeah, you'll be, you'll be running to the bathroom wishing you had a bidet in your home. And um, they just don't seem to understand. That's not culinary. That, that's not even in the same realm as anything good. It's gas station food. I think next time, I, and this is from Ron, next time I'll stay in a hotel, Pigeon Forge, and run with the out there to get to the National Park. There are, in fact, Riley, if you go up into Wares Valley, there's plenty of cabins to rent up there, or in Townsend, there's hotels. And then you can get right to the National Park from there with no traffic. None. Once you're in Pigeon Forge, you are a hostage to Pigeon Forge. It's a nice place. It's got a lot to offer. A lot to, I mean, look, I've been driving for a long time. Ann Hayton. Hi, Jeff. Hope you're doing, yes, ma'am. Doing very well. Feeling good. Keeping my body trimmed as best as I can. Even my doctor says, good job, Jeff. Good job. You're losing weight. I said, well, I got to. I don't feel like dying today. Today. I've got three lives left. So I'm taking advantage of that. 
but I believe what is happening to some of these tubers. William Smith, hello from Arkansas. William, are you coming down for the car show? What I believe is happening is they're running out of things to do because a lot of them have been doing this for many years. Kentucky Leisure. Hey, Jeff. Oh, I got to get to that. Oh, first time in a long time, and I caught one of your lives. I'm glad you're doing better. Thank you, Kentucky. I appreciate that. I got to go back to that one that was long. I'm sorry. Debbie, right. If you don't argue with someone, but they aren't doing anything to hurt anyone, but what about, you right, is people asking for money, asking for memberships. That pro Yeah, I know you're talking about. Thank you, Debbie. Yeah, that... This, there's a lot of those out there. You mean up there in Gatlinburg, right? Yeah, right. I know what you're talking about. Um, Rick Cunningham uh, will be there in the middle of May, staying in a condo at Gulf Vista on Dollywood Lane. That's nice there. That's a very nice place. Super nice. Um, I would suggest that going to Townsend or Wares Valley's, both of them have plenty of cabins and or motels. Now, Wares Valley has no motels, no hotels, no motels. Townsend has cabins and hotels and motels, and they're reasonably priced too, especially if you book ahead. I would suggest doing that. You book yourself ahead because you, you know when you're going to come up. You have, you have an idea, and just book yourself ahead. You forget about the money's gone already, and then you just come on up, check into your room. And the Tally Ho is a nice place. In Townsend, the Tally Ho, that's the mayor of Townsend. Nice guy. Mike's a nice guy. Him and his wife are wonderful. David C. Perkins, hello, America. Thank you, David. Thank you for being here today. But what I, I digress again. These, a lot of these YouTubers have run out of things to do, or they've, they've shot their load, as they say. They've done all the crazy, stupid editing they could do, all the flashbangs and all that. And that's, to me, that's not editing. You know, editing is where you don't see it, but it's there. The little nuances that make the video more like a movie or more like a show and, and not, um, not a bunch of flashbangs. Riley says, I have an idea in October to see the fall colors. No, it's not hot. Um, there, there's some hot days, yeah, but it's oh, at night it's always gorgeous. Always gorgeous. No want for beautiful temperatures. You bring along a light jacket. Depending on where you are now, if you're going to be in the Gatlinburg, you may want to bring a coat because it, it's around anywhere from 7 to 10 degrees cooler in that neck of the woods. There in September, where is I was there in September and it was hot, hot. Yeah, I remember last year it was unusually hot, and I can't, I can't predict the weather because it's you think it's going to be a certain way and then it turns out another way. That's Mother Nature, very unpredictable. Nature always bats last. Now I'm uh, officially in Sevierville. See that? How that worked? I get run in my mouth. Hey Jeff, you need to sponsor another mini golf to get together. <laughs> That'd be fun to have everybody out there. Um, and that could be arranged very easily. We have two locations. Um, we've got, of course, the new Jurassic Times, which is located at the Goat Coaster. Jurassic Times, over 30 animatronic dinosaurs and when I say animatronic they move they roar they do everything but poop that's the only thing they don't do <laughs> and I'm glad they don't <laughs> I'm really glad they don't I, I would be up to that and I I could arrange for that and then of course we've got fantasy golf in Pigeon Forge one of the other stories. 
I don't talk enough about that. I, I should. Fantasy golf. And that's going through some changes as we speak. Fantasy golf will have more uh, animatronic dinosaurs in there. There's quite a few dinosaurs <clears throat> in storage back at the boat coast. Quite a few. Well, so that's the plan. Kentucky Leisure, the Go Coaster, would be a great place. Then afterwards, you could sit around afterwards and chat like uh, you sometimes. Absolutely, we do that. Debbie, I wonder if I invited every single YouTube channel there, how many would actually show? Probably none of them. Gary with two R's, good afternoon. <laughs> Probably none of them. Um, I'm not, it's not that I'm not friendly with them, but I have no desire. I, I have a very busy life. My day is pretty well planned out. And I have no time for stupidity get-togethers with other YouTubers, other than the close people I hang with. Right, I would love to go to Maggie Valley someday. Here it's quite, it's very beautiful, Maggie Valley. We took a trip, Joshie and Stacy and Dry Creek. We took a trip out there, I think it's a couple of years back. And we had a lot of fun. Barb Stewart, hello everyone from Idaho. Uh, that golf idea sounds fun, depending on uh, who is there. Yeah, well, I don't, I'm pretty sure you wouldn't have to worry about any of the people we talk about on here. They're, I have nothing but respect for them and very little of that. I don't like phony. Teleco toys, my God, what's cracking? I haven't seen you in a long time, Teleco. I don't like phony. I don't like BSers. Hussy won't you? No. Well, if there's free food, he'll come in trying to be a best friend. You know that. There's a lot of them that do that. All I'd have to say is all free pizza and hamburgers and, and the Orca Twins would show up. But maybe not, because he knows how I feel. You know, we, him and I have had words. <laughs> and um, I call it the way I see it. And I, I just don't like BS. Either, either you're going to do the job right or you're not going to do it at all. But in this case here, Barb Stewart, I can tell you. In this case here, uh, people, they don't consider doing the job right. They just do it to pay their bills. And, and I thought that this... that this way of life is supposed to be to educate, entertain, and uplift people. And it, it's turning into a real cluster, you know what? Because if people aren't getting attacked, they're eating food. And there, there's very little in between, you know? I, uh, Gary Tour was spending one night at the Mountain Harbor in Douglas Lake you know, no, I don't know anything about that place. Uh, Douglas Lake is pretty. Very, very pretty. You can rent boats and pontoons out there, too, by the way. So, it's doing that. You know? Turn this a little bit. There. Let's see what's going on. David C. did. Somebody say free food up. See? There. There you go. The party is ruined. Right there, the party's completely ruined. Web, Web, Ralph, how are you? How are you and the, and the wife doing? Everything good? Are you up here? Are you coming up this way? I still can't figure this thing out. There's the uh, McCoys, there's the Titanic. Right? Every live. Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm a fair guy. I thank you. I consider that a compliment. I try to be fair. Sometimes I'm I'm cruel but fair. Does that help you out? 
I have very little tolerance for stupidity. I've worked way too much of my adult life doing this. Not YouTube, but doing video and audio and all this stuff, making documentaries and, and doing commercials, doing this for longer than anybody has been on YouTube. And that's why I laugh at some, you know, these people, some of them go around and they act like they're professionals. They've never worked in a professional atmosphere. They've never been in a television production studio or a, a music studio mixing down. <clears throat> the best they do is they, you know, they go cap cut, you know, <laughs> some stupid ass program on their phone. All right, what are we doing here? What are we doing here? But we're doing great. Oh, I think we are going to make a trip in the spring. Good. Maybe in the fall. Make up your mind, Ralph. <laughs> We've had some unexpected bills. But who doesn't? Right? You know how it is. Just when you think you're getting ahead, you don't. Ralph, you need to start a podcast. I listen to Tony. Thank you. <laughs> you must not have a life. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Remember, this is what I did. 37 years was talk on radio. At least it's one step up. I, can, I get immediate gratification by you guys responding back to me. In radio, if I didn't take any calls, it was just me talking for four hours or more, depending on how long the show went. But it... I'm, I'm not going to say it shocks me, but it surprises me when I see fools get in front of the camera and they start acting more of a fool, like just eating food, making a big deal out of looking at a menu and then, and go, oh, look at this, look at this, and it's flavorful. And look at, and, and they try to, try to dissect all the ingredients. This isn't, this isn't Wolfgang Puck. It's not, it's not a cooking show. It's a pretend cooking show pretending to be a, a vlogger you know, and it, it's an insult to people like myself and there are many other tubers out there and tiktokers and facebookers that take what they're doing seriously and they have to contend with stupidity and that i don't understand but it's a free country and you can kind of do what you want to some degree I'm trying to adjust this. I want to go for a bump. They have pretty big bills, so the budget is pretty well shot. Sorry to hear that. I hope it's nothing that is is going to go on for too long. These clouds are, are messing with the iris of the camera. I look forward to going to eat. I don't have videos of me eating. I don't even like eating. I understand. I do understand exactly what you're saying. That's why when Marie and I go out. Pretty much the only time we show you anything is we go to, to Sakura because they like us there and I'm helping them out. And I do that with that with that in mind is to help bolster their business because I don't get paid for that. I just do it because they're good people. It's a good family business and, and they're very dedicated to what they do. I mean, it's all family. And they really go above and beyond. And that's why I, I go there and promote it. It's the only reason. But a lot of these people, you know, a couple of the grifters, Ann says, I agree with you, Riley. Good look. Thank you, Ann. That's so, I'm blushing. If you could see it through all the hair on my face. I did trim my beard, though. I needed to give my face a rest. That's what Marie says. <laughs> you need to give your face a rest. Go away. I just, especially in the springtime, I usually cut my beard off and then let it grow back slowly because it um, it gets itchy. After a while, you have a beard for too long, it just gets itchy and your skin underneath gets dry. But nothing really too high, uh, just three, right? And oh, all about a month and half each other. I'm sorry to hear that. Well, maybe it comes in three, so it should be over now. Good time should be ahead. I thought it was funny that Hussey got mad when they kicked him out of the Dolly Hotel. They knew he didn't have the 400, no, he, no, he doesn't have the four hundred dollars a night. Oh, I see the little rice burners are back. That's the next event. 
there was somebody who did a good job, and I wish I would have remembered the name, but they listed all the events. It's something I should be doing, but I don't because I'm I get distracted very quickly. Uh, listed all the events that are coming up, and you've got this, the Rod Run. Then you've got Slammed Enough. You have the Ford trucks. You've got the Broncos. I'm trying to think what else. Um, then you got the Fall Rod Run, and there's a lot of back-to-back car things going on. Nothing as big as this, except the Jeep Invasion. That will definitely overwhelm this place. Barb Stewart, the show ranger, catching up with them and stuck their feet in their mouths too well. Yes, yes. It just, yeah, very, very cringy. I, oh, man, I agree. Um, that what I told Ayla. We've had uh, three, so there you go. We're on the same page, right? Because that's how life seems to work. Back to looking at the cars again. Well, a lot of you didn't get to see it, so. <laughs> And I enjoy it, so deal with it. You could always you could always go to the Orca Twins and watch what they're stuffing in their face today. Or you look at some of the other pseudo food things. Riley, would the Jeep Invasion let trucks join them in the road? You know, I don't know. I didn't notice any of that. I, when the Jeeps were here, the trucks didn't really get involved, but they definitely will be involved because I've seen quite a few trucks out today. They were gassing up and they're meeting and greeting each other. That's an interesting looking UTV. You see that? It's a jacked up UTV. He's got shot, special shots on him. Look how he's got to climb in. These guys pump a lot of money into these things. He's amazing. Uh, still haven't taken Ethel out. I guess it's over a week now. Ethel's my car. I'm in Miss Marie's car right now. I guess I could drop the windows now, right? Yeah, why not? It's not raining really much. Really pretty cars, you know what I'm saying? Just it's a really nice car. Look at that. Yeah, I know. I need a whole bunch of those cars. Buddy says, sorry to but, but I jumped right ahead. Sorry to ask here, but do you know if goats on the roof rod run t shirts for my grandson? Um, that's a good question. Now, if they don't the official t-shirt place is not far from Pigeon Forge Traders, same side of the road. Just past, coming more into town this way, you'll see them on the right. I don't know anything about them. Um, God, I wish this camera wouldn't do that. It's jumping around. But, buddy, I, um, I know they had them at the Goat Coaster. Yeah, I kept my car, the Legacy, and then I bought this for her. This is the Outback. I'm inside the Outback. That I got from Miss Marie. We were out. In, <clears throat> in fact, if you want to see Miss Marie driving, the last video I did, driving the country roads, that's her driving. She does a good job. You know, she's just a little apprehensive about driving, and she doesn't like this traffic, and I'm I'm okay with that. But I want her to be able to see. I guess it's selfish on my part. If anything happens to me, I want her to be able to just jump in the car and go where she wants to go or take me to the hospital or dump me off at an old age home or something like that. You know? <laughs> As she threatens me all the time. Are you, you're not looking at all well. Look at that Cadillac, that Lincoln right there. Oh, God, that is beautiful. It's a really sweet car. do a lot of home listing pictures on Zillow in the area. Pictures look professional. Um, I thought about doing I was asked to do that a while ago, but the problem was they weren't paying enough, at least in my estimation. 
and they would have you running all over God's creation and they didn't cover your gas. And I'm going, wait a minute, if I'm driving all over the Smoky Mountains to do your realty stuff, I expect to be compensated for this. So I do, in fact, I should have pointed them out. A lot of the, I should have pointed them out. I, I don't even think about it anymore because I just do it. A lot of these electronic signs you see, I have the contract for them. I do the signs. I take care of the signs. I'm not, not the electricity part, not the fixing them are broken. I do all the graphics. I got quite a few on this road. And it, it keeps me happy. Um, it challenges me. So there. It's Trump. See that? Even Trump comes. Make America great again. <laughs> With a Chinese accent. Make America great again. <laughs> Only in Pigeon Forge, kids. <laughs> Uh, only in Pigeon Forge. Somebody lost a hero. It's in the middle of the road. I don't know if you saw that. Make America great again. Trump. Even the CCA want, loves Trump. How about that? That's amazing. <laughs> Only in Pigeon Forge. <laughs> That's amazing. You gotta love it. <clears throat> you gotta love it. Now make sure you get out to vote in November. Don't think this is a shoe in. Don't think that it's. I do too, Pam. <laughs> Unexpected. Look at these cars. Oh. That's my style right there, the 30. That's a Chevrolet 39 two-door. Oh, I had the 39 four-door. I like four-door cars, not two-door cars. Four-doors have that back seat. And I love the, the style. The Mine had the bud vases, actual bud vases. I put buds in them, uh, blue flowers, and a blanket rack. I mean, it's really great party car. Everyone else had their hot rods. I had a 39 and a 38. The 38 was a coupe. And that was a lot of fun because it had the rumble seat. Pretty, pretty car. Pretty, pretty car. Gary Tours, let's go to Biden's store. Uh, wait, there's not. No, there isn't. There is no Biden store. <laughs> Nobody would be there. Grand opening, grand closing. Look at that rat rod. Look at this one right here and tell me. Look at that. Look how how short it is. That's amazing. 
I'm turning around so you can see it. How do you get in the, uh, the roof doesn't come off? Look, 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 look. Bring it down a little bit. There, look at that. That can't be any more than four feet off the ground. Got a big engine in it. I bet, I wonder if he's gonna drive that down the road. I would love to get that on video. I did get yesterday a Lamborghini, bright yellow one. And he just happened to pull up next to me. And I quick, I grabbed my third camera and I put it on the stick and then I started videotaping it. Now, I'm not a big Lamborghini person or as the orca says, Lambo. Who uses that? The Lambo. Like, like you, you know the jargon. Look at that roadrunner. <sighs> Come on. Let's go into the Lambo. <laughs> what an idiot. <laughs> oh god. The Yankees would be a Biden store thinking they're gonna be. Yeah, free food, yeah. Yeah. I look forward to hearing the day how the IRS checks them out and go, what, did you report all this money? I doubt it. People starting to come out a little bit. Gotta remember it's still only Wednesday. Technically, it kicks off tomorrow. The Rod Run kicks off tomorrow and goes uh, Friday and Saturday. And, and there'll be some lingering activity on Sunday. But a lot of people will be going back home on Sunday, as they usually do. I mean, somebody sent me a, um, an email. No, it was on, I'm sorry, it was a reply. And they go, I hate rod runs they take up all the parking spaces that's bs they do not take up all the park they take up the parking spaces here on the city side but i see plenty of parking in the stores and the hotels so you know some people just spout off and they don't know what they're talking about it reminds me and i know there's a lot of older people out there like myself remember i'm 70 a lot of people just are crotchety and nothing is nice the sun never shines if it is shining it's too hot if it's not shining it's too cold or too cloudy you know what i mean there's always those few they're never happy look at these cars cool. two packards in a row didn't see a lot of packards last year but there's two of them right next to each other You guys enjoying the ride? Enjoying everything? I hope so. So Miss Marie loves her car. Kevin Music. Hey Jeff, love the ride. Yes. Uh, Riley says, yeah, but don't act your age. Yeah, well, no, I'll never act like <laughs> Never. That's, I've always been accused of that. I don't want... I don't want to be old. I don't want to act old. I, I'm loving life, you know? And when you reach this time in your life, it, it's life has stopped giving and it's taking away now. So I don't, I don't like that. I don't like, so I'm enjoying life. I'm trying to stay as healthy as possible. Like most of us, we thought all this time we were learning how to live, but actually we've been learning how to die. You reach a point in your life, you start thinking mortal thoughts instead of, ah, there's always tomorrow. No, oh, there isn't always tomorrow. <laughs> there's no guarantee of that. So live today, enjoy it. Spend a little money. Don't be, don't be tight as a crab's asshole, and that's waterproof. You know, you, how many... 
I was just going to go left here, and this guy decided to see, see, you didn't, you didn't get to see that. Sorry. People just jut out. Like, how they look forward to videos for 20 years? I'll be drooling on myself for 20 years. <laughs> I can only imagine what I'll look like 20 years. You know, like I made that mistake, what was it, a couple of months ago? Maybe a month ago? I don't know if I told you this. And Hayden, yes, thank you. Thank you, Aunt Fina. I do appreciate it. Every one of you in the room with me. I think it was, I think it's a couple of months ago. I do, if you haven't, probably, I look 70, see? Um, I do Miss Marie's hair. When she wants a color, I color it. I, and I've helped my mom color her hair. You know, it's just something I've learned for many years. And I do a good job of it. I know how to do it. And you go to the, and ladies, you know what I'm talking about. You go to the hairdresser, have your hair done, you're $100 lighter, right? Or more, or more. The other thing I don't do is nails. And Miss Marie gets her, her nails and her toes did. And I just drop her off. And two hours later, I come and pick her up. And she has other stuff done. Eyebrows. I mean, she gets, she gets good and waxed. And I don't do that. Okay, that's not my forte. Although I was, was thinking of getting a van and opening up a waxing salon in a van. But I, I don't know. Debbie, at least you don't look like you're 75 year old. I swear at first I thought it was. Yes. <laughs> oh, look at that. Look at that Model A truck. Look at that. Chugging along. Chicka, 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 chicka. They're so cute. That's when life was really so much slower and it's just different time, you know? And the rent was cheaper. Well, where do you want me to go? I gotta wait for the traffic to clear. <laughs> These people are in such a hurry. <laughs> and then the people speeding, you know, in his little Honda. I want to get behind this thing. Look at this. No, hey, hey, where are you going with that big yellow thing? <laughs> there. There's an old Model A truck. Look at that. Look, 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 look. Look at that. The skinny little wheels. I'm chugging along. Yeah, <laughs> let me tell you, At we're coming up on Pigeon Forge Traders right here on the right. They still, I can tell you, we still have the sale going on. I'm surprised, against my better wishes. You can get hoodies and sweatshirts, two for 40 or one for 25. The same exact sweatshirts and hoodies, which you're going to need them, winter's just around the corner, are $49 in Gatlinburg. Same distributor distributes to us that distributes to them. Same guy. I know him personally. And they double, triple the prices up there in Gatlinburg and in Pigeon Forge around here. You check out the prices. You should shop. I'm a good shopper. What did I miss here? Uh, Gary, two hours. I didn't think had already turned yeah I'm there that's why I need one of those electric scooters I still got good balance and everything I'm still pretty agile you know I I'm always out doing something I'm always out running around I'm on the property walking around because I like living I'm not a couch potato That, that wasn't there before. That truck? Wow, the scam. Bootstorm Pigeon Forge. Yes, yes, I would never go to that. You get nothing for free. Buy one, get two. No, that ain't going to happen. That ain't gonna happen. Those days should be over. You would think that people, there's Pigeon Forge traders who just don't buy it. 
these guys are always out here, these little cruisers. They want too much for them. They're the same age. You know? I refuse to get old. You know, when my time comes, I'm sure I'll just drop dead. I can only hope that's the case. I don't want long and agonizing. No long agonizing. No, no, no. I just want to go. When God calls me, then I'm ready to go. Definitely more cars pulled in since we drove down here before. See, I told you that the other day. Remember when I first came through on Monday? There were cars here and there, and I said, don't worry. By the weekend, there won't be a slot left. By tomorrow, any regular car you see will be gone, and a hot rod will take its place. Guaranteed. There's a Cadillac. Look at that. That is a Detroit Chrome Mount. Look at how that damn thing is. Well, this is a pocket of no traffic. It's amazing. David C. I'm a 74. I love riding my motorcycle and roller skating. I don't think I know how to act like a 74. No, don't. Don't even start thinking about that. Be plenty of time for you to crap on yourself. Okay? So don't don't push it. I think I'm going right now. <laughs> I'm glad my Depends are holding up. I got the extra, extra heavy duty. It says it can hold up to 30 pounds. I haven't changed it in a week. I wonder why the flies keep buzzing around me. Janet Porter, how are you, dear? Yes, doing well. Miss Marie and I are doing very, very well. Everything is good. I gotta stop. I smell something good. Oh, it must be coming from uh, Old Mill. It, it smells like chicken. Good fried chicken. Fresh, freshly fried chicken. I made um, papaya chicken last night. Riley says, uh, if I ever get wealthy, I want to buy Grandpa Ford. All right, do that. Bill and Barb, how are you guys? Hope you're having great hot rods cruising with. with, with yeah, no, it was raining before, guys. It was raining. Um, you know, it, this is the April shower stuff. We got to deal with it. You just deal with it. It's good. It's great for my road. It doesn't get dusty. So I'm all for it. And the local constabulary, I'll tell you, they're out. So if you're going to be speeding around like that bozo up there, you're going to get a ticket. I saw a guy get arrested yesterday. He was. I was going here and around with those cars. You can't really see. Um, they pulled him over. They had him out of that car and they threw the cuffs on him. But, of course, I was looking to the right and the camera was to the right. And so by the time I decided to make a move, he was already in the back of the car. I go, that's what Miss Marie and I mean. Little scooters. Little scooters. There's Fantasy Golf. There's the other putt putt we were talking about. That's the other place that we can go and do um, a meet and greet right there. Fantasy Golf. Dude, there's an animatronic dinosaur out there right now out front. There are two. One and two, and there's more coming. It's starting to lighten up. That's nice. Thank you. Just found diamond backing. Probably you're not getting the notifications. They loaded him up quick. Yeah, oh, yeah. I, I don't know what the case was, but they left his car running because I went up to the next light uh, and, and turned around by the time I got back. The one car was gone with him in it. So I'm assuming that he was probably wanted or had warrants out and they got him and they didn't want him to get away and threw him in the back of the car. There was no, you know, sometimes you see them out, the guy will be leaning the car and go, oh man, man, excuse me, is the chances here? I'm being suppressed. You know, all that nonsense. But no, they cuffed his ass out, <laughs> threw him in the back of the car. <laughs> Debbie says, I think there are more scooters than cars. Oh, you haven't seen anything. There will be so many scooters out here <coughs> excuse me this weekend they still scream in trump that's that's just too much the chinese i think that it sounds like chinese accent there will be 
hundreds of scooters out here. It has become so popular to have a scooter or a little jazzy or a golf cart. Now, I don't like the golf carts on the sidewalk because people have to literally part like the Red Sea for them. If you have a little scooter or a little jazzy, you can kind of worm around people. So if, if you guys are going to bring a golf cart, try to have a little consideration. You're not the only vehicle on the road, okay? Rod says, I'll go back and watch the vids I've missed and the videos I've missed. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I, you know, I appreciate that. It's just me running my mouth, as a lot of people say. But I do it with your mind in mind. Oh, yeah, you should watch full videos over the last second to so make money off. <laughs> you got quite a sense of humor. I just refuse to stuff my face with food and get paid for it. There's a price to pay for that. And it's usually in the form of diabetes, heart attack, or stroke. I'm not going back that way. I'm trying to really be good. Like I said, I made um, uh, papaya chicken last night. I got uh, chicken, dark meat. Like the dark, I like the dark meat. Miss Marie does too, not all the white meat. And um, I got a, uh, a papaya and I pureed it and put in all the spices. Put it in the oven, baked it, 375 for 45 minutes. Done deal. Very healthy. Very, very healthy. Soon I'll be high school skinny. <laughs> I doubt that. The more people walking around, and it's fun. I hope you're having fun. Rather says, because sometimes I go to the next video and there is like 10 seconds left. Yeah, I know. We should have a marathon. I'm surprised nobody has done this. Well, hey, one person does that. A marathon of my videos playing nonstop 24 hours for a week straight. How boring would that be? But there is a YouTuber in Gatlinburg that wants you to run his videos 24 seven in a loop so he can get paid. So you're gonna run your electricity bill up <laughs> so he can get paid. What an ugh. What an idiot. Big motorcycle. Look at that. The big rides. Nice. Nice and smooth. There's three bears. Another great place to go. Similar. Very similar to Goat Coaster. Pretty much the same stuff in there. The same stuff you're going to find at the Goat Coaster. Is it legal for them to do that? I feel like it's against YouTube policy. Uh, yeah, it is absolutely illegal. If YouTube catches you, <coughs> they're going to cancel you. But he's still telling people to do it. If you have, if you have to resort to that, you're doing something wrong. There's that view. Of it. It's only a two door though. I need to go back and watch. Lost it. Back on the, ran out of coffee and ended up in North Carolina. That was scary. Not the fact I was lost. Scared I ran out of coffee. I need to carry. I wonder if TikTok or Timu, TikTok has like a portable, I'm sure there is, a portable coffee maker, like an emerging, so break the glass and get a cup of coffee. Somebody needs to do that. Somebody think of that now, if not sooner. I mean, you never know in its emergency. The truth is almost like admitting you can't get it. It's exactly it. So they give it 10 years and there'll be cabins. Oh, yeah, there'll be cabins everywhere. There's not, I'm trying to, I, I'm not boasting, but I keep up with my our cabin and it went up five percent last month which is great for us but that's an indicator of what is going on here everywhere else is going to hell and in this area things are going up so this is, you can still find some affordable property here but it's not going to be as cheap as you think it is if you haven't made your move yet you're going to have to make you're going to have to reconsider where you're going to go because it's <clears throat> it's getting out of reach for most everyday people. It really is. 
I wish I could buy a hot. I have no room for it at the cabin. It's when the road was built, the driveway, it wasn't for uh, having more than uh, three cars. So, and I, if I'm going to get one, I'm going to put it in the garage, which means I would have to level a part of the mountain, literally a piece of the mountain, have to take out a piece of it to level it and put a garage in there. And it's just uh, thought about it, thought about it. So it's just, it's not practical for me. Miss Marie would love to expand the cabin, which I'm all for. And we've got plenty of property to do. Um, but I told her, I, said, I don't have that much more time on this planet. And uh, I said, I thought we were going to get a, you know, a different style somewhere else. She doesn't, she loves where she is. She literally loves where she is. So I may have to rethink. I don't know. There's nobody there at the track. Nobody. I'm assuming it's closed. I mean, there's nothing open. Why would they be closed? It's only 4:30. Hmm. Like I said, I'll be out Friday night. Um, I'll, I'll let you guys know where we'll be broadcasting live, show you what's going on, show you the car, show you the crazy trucks and all the, the silliness that's going to be going on um, Friday night. And then Saturday night, uh, weather permitting. If it's raining, I'm not going to go out. I'm just, I don't want to get wet. I, I did that once and I was sick for three days. Got to be careful. Got to be careful. Well, I'm going to wrap up the show. I want to thank you for being with me today. To every single one of you, thank you. It's very kind of you to join me. And don't forget, you'll um, maybe you'll get notified, maybe you won't. It's not up to me, it's up to you too. And uh, I'll, we'll do it again on Friday, okay? Friday night, probably around 7-ish, all right? Thank you, William, all of you. Pam, everybody, thank uh, every single one of you. Thanks, and I will talk to you very, very soon. Have a great rest of this week.